There's some features in PowerPoint that are really cool, and there's some features in PowerPoint that I think are time savers or life savers. And, and I would say that uh, the autosave capability in PowerPoint 2010 falls in that lifesaver, especially if you've been working on a presentation and it crashes, or you've done something and you wish you could go back half an hour. Um, in older versions, you couldn't do that. In PowerPoint 2010, you can. So let's go ahead and look at how that works. So if we click on the file menu, first of all, let me explain what I have here. So here's a PowerPoint file that I've had open for a couple of hours, and I've made a few changes as I've been doing some tutorials. You'll notice the name up here. It's Learning PPT Template. And um, so I've, been, I've had this open for about two and a half hours. Now if I go to File and I click on Info, it'll show the versions that have been auto-saved for me. So I've got a repository of files here. So if I wanted to go back to, let's say I'm working on something I, and I think, man, I wish I could go back uh, to the, when I first opened it because there was something on there that I had deleted. So I can come back to uh, this version here. I can click on it. And what you'll notice is that it actually opens up a separate version of PowerPoint. So you don't need to worry about um, accidentally overwriting a current file. So it opens up a version and then it also tells you it's auto-saved and it's read-only and it has a date and time stamp here. And then what you could do is you could restore that if you wanted to, if you wanted to go backwards. Or you can just click on File, Save As and then save that as a separate file so you know you have it and then you can pull out the content you want. But either way, uh, it's going to have that available to you. And if we come back to the Info section, you could see uh, there's a number of auto-saved files. And right now it's saving it about every 10 minutes. If I want to click on Manage Versions, if I had some to recover, I can go and recover uh, presentations that um, I might have. I, didn't, I haven't been working on this long enough to have any, but that's where you would find those. And let's look at some of the options you have when it comes to working with um, auto-save. So if we go to the Options tab here, again, we're up in File, then we go to Options, we go to Options, there's a Save tab, and in the Save tab you can see uh, how you might want to save those. So uh, you can choose the format you want to save them in. Here's your auto recovery. So if you're working on a really important project and doing a lot of changes, you know maybe you want to save every five minutes or every one minute. It just depends on what you're doing. If it's something where you don't really need to worry about it, you can save um, you know, every 20, 30 minutes. And then um, here's... Uh, what it'll do. So you notice it's going to keep the auto versions if you close without saving. So even if you close the file and you didn't save it, it's still going to be saved. And then here are the locations. So uh, using autosave should really save you some time, uh, or maybe not save you time, but really save you some time if you end up having your uh, computer crash or PowerPoint freezes up on you, or if you're working on a file and you've, and you've lost some stuff and you want to be able to go backwards. So I think it's a feature that you'll really find comes in handy.